Jimmy Carter oh. left office over 40 years ago. He looks unbelievable. He really does. Jen, what are you looking forward to when this is all done and you're vaccinated? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing my family again. Hugging. It's been about a year since I've seen my parents. First, we got to get through spring break. Let's talk vaccine with Dr. Dorian. All right, we're joined by our Insta MD, Dr. Dorian. Dr. D, I'm on a mission from our boss, Lisa G. She got the first vaccine shot. She's experiencing headaches. Is that normal? Is that okay? Completely normal. Headaches is actually one of the most common side effects from the vaccine. The reassuring part is that your body is reacting to that protein and it's building up its immunity so that, God forbid, you were to get COVID, you'd be prepared for it. If you get the vaccine, can you still get COVID and spread it? From a conservative answer, we say yes, but the studies are starting to show the chances that you'll spread it is extremely low. President Biden says that, look, Texas and Mississippi lifting COVID restrictions is Neanderthal thinking. His Republican counterparts will say President Biden and the Democrats are interested in state control of your lives. They're both uh, unfortunately trying to just position hard yes and no's. You can't completely open and you can't completely shut down. There isn't, there's a gray zone here. Is it Neanderthal thinking to open up schools at least all over Texas and Mississippi? It's not Neanderthal thinking to open up schools. Having said that, latest data coming out of Israel is a little bit concerning with regards to the variants. There seems to be a slight increase in infectivity on kids. We need to open, but we need to do it in a stepwise fashion, keep them distance until we can get the teachers vaccinated. And last night, President Biden said he wants us all to get vaccinated so we can celebrate the 4th of July. But before summer, something else is upon us. And one of the most stressed people in America right now, Dr. D, is the mayor of Miami, because the spring breakers are coming. The power of spring break, we may not be able to control it or harness it. So uh, I, I think instead of us saying absolutely not, we have to actually give them some tools to make smart decisions. So they can go be outdoors, try to not mingle with too many people, stay in your core group. If you're gonna say absolutely not, it's not gonna happen. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.